Do you ever dream of passing the K-pop audition and become a K-pop trainee? If you pass the K-pop audition and have to go to Korea, do you know what should you prepare or do next? That's why I'm going to show you 10 important things that you should prepare after you pass the K-pop audition. This video took me 38 hours to make because I wanted to give you the best advice possible. So, if you find it helpful, support by clicking the super thanks button below the video or just subscribing. I'll break down every little detail for you so that you won't make any mistakes when moving to Korea. Number 1. The first challenge you should prepare is getting approval from your parents. It's the most crucial step you need to take before your K-pop audition. You might think that you can do it without their support, but trust me, you can't. And here's why. First, you need to consider your situation. I don't know what your background is, but I'm guessing that most of you are still students who don't have a stable income. You might have some savings or pocket money, but that's not enough to cover the expenses of going to Korea. You need a lot of money to pay for your flight, accommodation, food, transportation, and other necessities. How much money do you need? Well, at least more than $3,000 to $5,000. Yes, you heard me right. That's the minimum amount you need to go to Korea for your audition. Secondly, you need to consider your safety. Korea is a beautiful and modern country, but it's also a foreign land where you might not speak the language or know the culture. You need someone who can guide you and protect you when you go there. You can't just go alone and hope for the best. You might encounter some difficulties or dangers that you are not prepared for. You need someone who can help you in case of emergency. Thirdly, you need to consider your future. Becoming a capable pop idol is not a one-time thing. It's a long-term commitment that requires hard work, you need someone who can support you emotionally and mentally throughout your journey. Who can be that person? Your parents, of course. Getting approval from your parents is not just a formality. It's a necessity. Without their approval, you will not be able to go to Korea for your audition, let alone become a K-pop idol. That's why I made a video about how to convince your parents to let you pursue your dream. It will pop up at the end of this video, so make sure to watch it. Number 2. The second thing you need to prepare after you pass the audition is the budget. And don't think that the company will pay everything for you yet. Unless you are a top-tier contestant, and they really want you so bad. But that is one in a thousand people. You can try to contact them through email or whatever way you can to ask them for paying your plane ticket if you really don't have any money. But most of the time they will never pay you. Because there are a lot of contestants and what if you fail the second round audition in Korea? How would you be able to pay them back and what about the plane ticket to go back to your country if you fail? And I'm not even mentioning that you need to pay for visa and your place to stay yet during the round 2 audition in Korea. So don't get your hopes too high that they will pay you all of that. If you don't have enough budget yet, don't rush to audition because if you pass and don't have money to continue, you will waste one year in that company until you can audition again next year. Going to Korea as a contestant requires a lot of money and there are a lot of expenses. Even the flight ticket is so expensive already and the price varies depending on where you live. If you are from America or Europe, the flight ticket will be around $300 to $600. If you live in India or any country near India, your flight ticket will be around $100 to $300. And if you are from Southeast Asia, your flight ticket will be around $200 to $500. But remember, you are not just paying for your plane ticket. Because most of you are under 18, you need your parent or any adult to look after you. So, double the ticket price by yourself. And I'm not even mentioning about the price ticket to come back to your country yet. Step number three, prepare your plan to stay and prepare plan for your budget spending. Before you go to Korea, search or booking the hotel or maybe hiring people to guide you. Most people think they only pay for the flight and the company will pay the rest. I wish that were true, but it's not. You need to prepare at least $200 to $5,000 or more just to stay in Korea until the audition ends. Because to prepare for one audition round, the company needs at least a one to two week break. And some companies not only have two rounds, but they could have up to four to five depending on the agency. Each company changes their plan every year, so there is no clear information on which company has only two rounds of audition. So, you are not only paying to stay in Korea for two weeks or more than a month, but you also have to pay for food and transportation. And I'm not even mentioning your visa and the person who comes with you at all. It all requires a lot of money. For the hotel alone, even a mediocre hotel in Seoul could cost $50 to $200 per day. The smart move is to rent a house or an apartment for one month, which may save you a lot of money. But why won't most of the companies pay you anything yet? It's because you are still just a contestant. Reminder, you are not their K-pop trainee yet. Unless you pass all the audition rounds and get selected to be one of the K-pop trainees in their company. At that time, they will start paying you everything. 
but it's not free either. All the money that they pay for you is a debt. They will charge you back as soon as you debut as an idol and start making money. Most K-pop idols have to work for more than a year to pay back all their debt to the company, and the debt could be around $500,000 to $1 million or more depending on the company. And if you ask, what about the company dorm? Don't they prepare a dorm for each contestant to stay during the audition? The answer is a big no, because there are a lot of K-pop contestants who go to round two. And moreover, K-pop company dorms are just for their trainees only, not for the contestants. Don't confuse between trainees and contestants. They only pay and provide dorm to the contestant in the survival show, because they already a trainee under the contract. The reason why they pay everything for trainees is because they invest in them, hoping they will earn the company a lot of money later after they debut. But the contestants are different. They don't even know if you will pass the audition or not, so why would they invest in you? So, what if you pass all the audition rounds and get selected to become a K-pop trainee in their company? Is that the end of the story? No, there are a lot more things that you don't know and a lot more things you have to prepare. One of them is your visa and the moving process to Korea. That will bring us to the next step. Step number four, preparing and researching about visa. There are a lot of types of visas. You cannot just get a visa and go to Korea because there are 31 types of visas that can allow you to go or live in Korea. But if you lived in these country that I show on the screen, you are lucky. You can visit Korean without get any visa for six months. Here are some examples of the visas that you should get if you go to audition in a K-pop company. One, the tourist visa. If you are still a contestant and you are not sure if you are going to get selected or not, you should get a tourist visa because it's cheap and you can easily go back to your country if you fail the K-pop audition. 2. Family Visit Visa This one can last for 90 days. It's for half Korean people who still have some family members who live in Korea. 3. The Industrial Trainee Visa This visa will be provided by the company if you get selected to be a K-pop trainee. But before that, you can just get the first two visas. Step number five, prepare for the moving process after passing the audition. If you don't know, you cannot move to Korea if you are under 18. But if you get selected to be one of the trainees, your agency will prepare a guardian and continue your visa for you. But some companies don't offer you a place to stay immediately yet after you get selected. Moreover, some companies also need a gap after the audition ends for a few months before they prepare a dorm for you to stay. When you go to audition, you should put the option of 30 to 90 days to stay in Korea. And if you pass, you will continue with the long-term visa. But don't worry, after you live in Korea for five years, the government will give you citizenship. But every time you go to continue the visa, the company may pay for you and add it to your debt. If you are half Korean and born outside Korea, you must have some Korean relatives. You just have to put your name in your relative's family book. You will become a Korean citizen, but only if your bloodline is close, like your grandparents still live in Korea and you have your name in their family book. But most of the trainees, after they pass the audition, they go back to their country to pack their stuff. So, if you don't want to waste any plane ticket, you should prepare all of your stuff and clothes to Korea even if you don't know if you get selected or not. Because if you pass, they might offer you to move into their dorm immediately. But what stuff do you need to pack to Korea? That brings us to the next step. Step number six, how many things you should pack to Korea as a trainee. There are five most important things you have to pack to Korea. One, clothing. Clothes are expensive in Korea because you need fashion. If you walk in any Korean city, you will see those people wearing very stylish clothes, but they are so expensive. So you have to pack some of your own clothes that you can wear inside your dorm or sleep. But if you want to walk outside, I suggest buying some clothes that fit with Korean style. It will make you more confident and fit in with people and culture. The company will also provide you some clothing if they want you to join any show or program. Some company also provide training clothes for you if they want to record your dancing practice. 2. You need to have some money on you. Most companies will pay everything, like dorm, electricity, and training class. Some even give you some money to spend but it's not much. So, if you want to go outside the dorm and spend some money in the city, you have to prepare your own money. Which I assume you will, because if you don't have any money by yourself, you will be stuck stuck in the company dorm and you won't get to experience the Korean lifestyle. At least you need $100 to $300 per month for just hanging out with your other trainees, doing some shopping, hanging out in the coffee shop or public. And yes, sometime the company will allow you to go outside the dorm at the daytime. 3. If you still in the audition process, you have to bring your toiletries. You will need to bring your personal hygiene items, such as toothbrush, some skincare products, such as cleanser, toner, moisturizer, sunscreen, etc. As Korean beauty standards are very high and you will want to take good care of your skin. You may also want to bring some makeup products, such as foundation, concealer, powder, blush, eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, etc. As you may have to do your own makeup 
makeup for auditions or performances. But didn't company will give you all of that later? Yes, they will, but not an audition process, they will give you some of that when you become a trainee. However, you don't need to bring too many toiletries, as you can always buy more in Korea if you need to. 4. Electronics You will need to bring your electronic devices, such as phone, laptop, tablet, charger, adapter, etc., as you will need them for communication, entertainment, education, and work. You also need this stuff to practice any new song and dancing skill on your own when you have free time. But some company will also don't allow you to use smartphone when you become a trainee. So read the contract before you bring your phone or laptop. You may also want to bring some camera or video equipment, such as a digital camera or a GoPro camera, as you may want to document your trainee life or create content for your fans. However, you don't need to bring too many electronics, as you can always buy more in Korea if you need to. 5. Documents You will need to bring your important documents, such as passport, visa, ID card, birth certificate, medical records, etc. As you will need them for immigration, registration, identification, and health purposes. You may also want to bring some copies of your documents in case you lose them or need them for backup. You may also want to bring some photos of yourself and your family and friends, as you may need them for applications or memories. Step number 7. Prepare your soft skills. You have to prepare your soft skills while you are young, even before you even think of joining the K-pop audition. These are the skills that will help you succeed in the K-pop industry and beyond. And the first important soft skill is Korean language. Most companies don't teach you Korean because they don't have any Korean class. There are not many non-Korean trainees in the company, so it will be expensive to hire a teacher for a few students. That's why in the interview, most K-pop idols said they had to learn Korean by themselves or go to any school near the dorm. But I think by 2023, most companies will upgrade the Korean class into their training program because there are a lot of non-Korean K-pop trainees nowadays. Especially JYP Entertainment, they just opened an audition for non-Korean people a few weeks ago. But still, if you can prepare your language skill before joining or moving to live in Korea, it will help you a lot in making friends or communicating with people. You may also need to learn other foreign languages, such as English, Chinese, Japanese, etc., depending on your target market and audience. You also need to learn public speaking skills so that you can communicate effectively and confidently with journalists and fans. The second soft skill you need to prepare is cultural awareness. It doesn't mean that you have to betray your own culture and adapt to Korean culture 100%. But before you move to Korea, you have to learn a lot, read a lot, and watch a lot of Korean culture. This one is also important. Most people only understand K-pop culture and ignore all other things. Listen, K-pop is only 10% of Korean culture. There is a lot more you need to learn by watching their news, TV shows, K-dramas, history books, lifestyle, and attitude. If you don't know all of these soft skills, it will come across as rude or disrespectful to their culture. If the public thinks any non-Korean idol disrespects or is ignorant of their culture, they will attack you and other members in your group until you disband. So be careful and always respect their culture. The third soft skill you need to prepare before you move to Korea is teamwork. If you are that kind of person who is too shy or doesn't know how to work as a team, you need to learn that skill immediately. You need to learn how to work well with others, especially your fellow trainees and future group members. You need to be cooperative, supportive, respectful, and flexible. You need to be able to share your ideas, listen to feedback, compromise, and resolve conflicts. You also need to be loyal and trustworthy as you will be spending a lot of time together and relying on each other. The fourth soft skill you need is creativity. You need to learn how to be creative and original in your singing, dancing, rapping, and songwriting skills. You need to be able to express yourself and your emotions through your music and performance. You also need to be able to adapt to different styles and genres of music and show your versatility and uniqueness. You also need to be able to create content for your fans, such as videos, photos, blogs, etc., that showcase your personality and talent. Step 8. Learn manner skills. You also need to learn some manner skills that will help you become a professional and respectful K-pop idol. These are the skills that will make you stand out from the crowd and earn the admiration and trust of your fans, peers, and seniors. And the first important manner skill is discipline. You need to learn how to be disciplined and dedicated in your training and practice. You need to be able to follow the rules and schedules of your company and manage your time well. You need to be able to juggle between school and training if you are still of school age. You also need to be able to handle the pressure and stress of monthly evaluations and competitions. You also need to follow a strict diet and take care of your health and appearance. 
the second manner skill you need to prepare is resilience. You need to learn how to be resilient and optimistic in the face of challenges and failures. You need to be able to cope with rejection, criticism, disappointment, and frustration. You also need to be able to overcome obstacles such as injuries, illnesses, scandals, or controversies. You also need to be able to deal with loneliness, homesickness, or isolation if you are away from your family and friends. Step number nine, prepare your school and plan B. The ninth thing you need to prepare is your school and plan B and that's why learning Korean language before joining the audition is important. Because if your language is good enough, you can pass the test and go to a Korean high school. Some non-Korean idols dropped out of high school because of this reason. Luckily, they were able to debut. But what about the K-pop trainees who also dropped out but didn't get to debut? They couldn't go to college and also couldn't pursue any normal job. But luckily, the company didn't waste any other trainees and let them go back home because all of them were in debt with the company. Most of them who didn't debut, the company picked another career for them, like acting, modeling, or anything related to entertainment, to pay their debt. But that's not the only way. If you only know English, you can study at any private English high school if you have enough budget to study in a private school. And that way, you will have a plan B if you can't debut in the future. Step 10, make friends and build a support network. The 10th and final thing you need to prepare is your friends and support network. You need to make friends and build a support network that can help you through your journey as a trainee and a potential K-pop star. You can make friends with other trainees, teachers, staff, or locals in Korea who share your interests or goals. You can also join online communities or groups that cater to expats or K-pop fans in Korea or abroad. You should also keep in touch with your family and friends back home who can offer you emotional support and encouragement. So that's all for today's video. I spent a lot of time making this video to help you guys. You can give me back by sending super thanks if you can, or just click subscribe to get more helpful content like this. Good luck with your journey.